it, that he's not upset by John the Beast Mugabe. So both of those fights still ahead on our coverage from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. What a remarkable sight here at ringside. Nearly all of the seats are now filled. The rain is still coming down. It has abated somewhat, but these are serious fight fans. Of course, they paid up to $400 to attend, and, and they are here, uh, rain or not. Many of them have come from all parts of the world, and it's uh, quite a sight in this inclement weather to see all of these huddled masses here to watch the championship bouts. Saw Gil Clancy do his anti-rain dance just before the show started, and I guess it worked. We're into round five. It only works in Rockaway Beach, huh? <laughs> Albert Bernstein along with Gil Clancy and Tim Ryan, a delight to work with them, I might add, bringing you this championship boxing action. And Gil, uh, scoring-wise, how would you look at this fight? Well, I, I have Canis Alice way ahead, Al. Again, we're, we're on a points base point scoring basis, not not a round. Again, he has Sandoval hurt badly, Al. Left hook, That's two a hook. left hooks. Is he nailing him? Sandoval in trouble on the ropes. Fights his way off. Lands his own good right hand. No question he has a champion's heart, Al. He has been rocked several times. He was down in the first round and on wobbly legs, but Canizales couldn't put him away. We're in the fifth. Big right left badly. uppercut. It will be a knockdown. The second of the fight. That's a very effective punch that Canizales uses. It's a half jab hook. Brings it right between Sandoval's hands. And he has Sandoval hurt badly now. Just a question of time now. Canizales with a right that doesn't land solidly. It still hurts Sandoval. Richie on wobbly legs Nailed trying to push him off. Luro, Luro. Nailed him again. What, what heart that Sandoval has, though. Now. He's taking big shots from Canizales. He's still there. Standing dead still. Here in round five, he's fighting back off the ropes. He's been down once, close to going down again. There's no snap in his punch, Al. I really think that weight was a problem for him. And Gabby Canizales is delighted to take advantage of it. What a superb performance by Gabby. Richie languishes on the ropes and pays the price. Padilla looking carefully. One good hook to the body from Canizales and Aaron is going to set up everything else. Making a mistake, too much for the head. Sandoval fighting on hard, but lands a three-punch combination. A gutsy performance by Sandoval. Well, we knew that. We knew we had the courage. And blood now, I believe, from the right eye of Gabby Canizales. And he gets a shot on it from Sandoval. There's a bad cut over the right eye of Canizales. Wow, what a round. What a round. Get him out, baby, get him out. Waiting patiently, James Schuler. We're looking into the dressing room of James Schuler. 22 and 0 his record, the North American middleweight champion, 26 years of age from Philadelphia. Somewhat of an unknown, even though he's had such an impressive pro record. A lot of uh, fans who are kind of general sports fans probably haven't heard much about James Shuler, and that kind of bothers him. He knows that a, a victory over Thomas Hearns tonight will prove uh, that uh, he belongs among the very top, and he'll have his opportunity against the winner of Hagler and Mugabe. Back here, they're working now on the cut of Gabby Canizala, gentlemen. If you look into Sandoval's corner, uh, his cuts have uh, seemed to have been... Uh, Healed up pretty well so far by the cut men, but in the Canizales corner, they've now got a problem over the right eye of Gabby Canizales. Jesse Reed, the man you saw moving in there to work on that cut. We're into round six. What a soap opera. Sandoval down in the first, down in the fifth, but in the fifth round, fighting literally on instinct, I would think, Gil. He opened a cut over the right eye of Canizales. And it's in a very bad spot, Al. It's under the eyebrow. Could prove to be very, very troublesome. 
If I was if I was in Candace Ellis' corner now, Al, I'd tell him, you got to go out and get this kid out of there. The cut could be a big factor, as Gil said. And for Candace Ellis, he's got to despair a little bit over that because it's the only blemish on what has been a tremendous performance by him. When he had Sandoval hurt badly, Al, he made the mistake that so many fighters make. He just went headhunting. One or two punches to the body, and everything else would have been academic. And he is a good body puncher, Canizales. Round six is scheduled for 15. Gabby Canizales in the white. Richie Sandoval, the now beleaguered champion in the black, but the cut over Canizales' right eye is bleeding again. And it's running right down into the eye, Al. Good jabs by Canizales. There's no question Gabby is ahead in this fight. He has dominated virtually every round, with the possible exception of the fourth. You know, Al, if they give Jesse Reed a little more time to work on that cut, the longer that that medicine stays in there, then the, the cut may possibly bind up. But right now, it's a very, very angry cut. And again, Canizales, you let it all hang out. He is trying. Well, obviously, this round has not been as effective because of the cut bothering him. And Jesse Reed, a good cut man as well in the corner. Good right by Sandoval. But now uh, we both know he isn't a big puncher. That was that was a right hand right on the button, and absolutely nothing happened. It's amazing I, I, the way uh, Sandoval throws that jab. He steps in with it, Alan. He's, and he's glued to the canvas after he throws the jab. Should be able to count it. They just did it again. Should be able to count it very, very easily. Round six, things have slowed a bit for both these fighters. The cut obviously bothering Canizales. He has not been able to throw as many combinations as he had earlier. That'll do it for the sixth. Richie Sandoval nearly goes back to the wrong corner. We peek into Canizales' corner and they work on that cut. Well, they should get right to work on it now, and they, they have. At the big towel there. I always believed that it was very, very important, more important than even using the adrenaline, was to use very, very cold, a very, very cold towel. The cold constricts those capillaries and stops that blood from coming down. And they should keep pressure on the eye right until the last second. Now nobody's doing a thing with the eye. That is, that is uh, one of the first tenets of working on a cut, to keep the pressure on it. You're right, they did not. Yeah, they, have, they probably have another 30 seconds. Listen, keep that jab in his face and keep doubling it up. You keep him on the back step, you hear me? And don't forget his body. All right. You're looking good. You won that round. Keep, keep winning the round. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it up on that. The voice of Jesse Reed. Canizales heading out for the seventh round. Well, Jesse told Gabby Canizales to keep using the jab and keep winning the rounds. And I hate to disagree with my good friend Jesse Reed, but I'd be telling my fighter to start using those bombs, start throwing the hooks, and try to get him out of there. Well, you mentioned that the cut medicine may take more effect as it goes on. Do you think he's just trying to buy some time? Or? Well, no, I think that that's his strategy. Now, he's, he's, very, he's way ahead in the fight. I guess he figures he got it in the bank. But I'd, I'd be a little more concerned about that cut because one or two more punches on the cut, they can bust wide open. Also, uh, a reminder, this is only the seventh round. Now, it's scheduled for 15. Now, certainly two of those rounds were two-point rounds for Canizales, so he is probably way ahead, but as Gil said, that cut could stop things prematurely. Sandoval gaining some confidence here, landing the jab, still not throwing much behind it, however. And still standing dead still. And now they've, they've turned Canizales into a boxer, Al. And he was very effective when he was just walking in and throwing those combinations. And as you pointed out earlier, 
He might even be able to out jab Sandoval. Both fighters using their jab and not much else in this round. And Canizales' combinations have become fewer as this fight has gone on. He may be getting a little tired, Al. He set a torrid pace over the first yes. five rounds. Yes, wow. he did. But a well-trained fighter should get his second win. Then he has another advantage. They're fighting outdoors. And I've always found that a fight outdoors, a guy can go an extra three or four rounds because he gets a lot more oxygen. There goes Sandoval from a right hand from nowhere. He is really hurt. Richie Sandoval hurt again. Al, if he survives this, it's going to be a miracle because he was really hurt. For all the world, it looked like it would end in the fifth. Now we're in the seventh. He's been down again. A jab sends him down. Remember, Al, three knockdowns and the fight is over. The three knockdown rule is in effect. One more and Richie Sandoval, his history and his title is gone. He's down, that's it. Gabby Canizales, the youngster, the 28-year-old from Laredo, Texas, has done it on his second try. Richie Sandoval still on the canvas. And they will minister to him quickly. Sandoval appears to be out cold right now. He was, he was hurt badly out. Sometimes it doesn't pay for a fighter to have too much courage. He took a, he took a beating in that fight. Those last punches were devastating. We saw tremendous courage from Sandoval, as you said, Gil, maybe too much courage. A happy Gabby Canizales. He gets the title on his second try, but some concern right now for that man, Richie Sandoval. You see them ready, the stretcher. You certainly hope that there will be no serious injuries to Richie Sandoval. There are three doctors attending the boxing fights here tonight. And Dr. Flip Pomansky of Las Vegas was immediately into the ring when he went down the third time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Carlos Padilla stops the bout. At two minutes, 47 seconds of the seventh round, the winner by a TKO and new WBA Bantamweight Champion of the World, Gabby Canizales. Now we're back to show the third knockdown. A solid left hand and then a right hand over. And he's really helpless here. And that's, there's that uppercut that sends him down. There are the paramedics about to take Richie Sandoval uh, to the hospital. And uh, we will certainly try and give you a, a medical report before the evening is out. We hope Richie Sandoval will be all right. And some concern there. But Gabby, you came out very strong. And uh, I assume you did just what you wanted to tonight. Yeah. Well, first of all, you know, uh, this thing's happening in boxing. And uh, uh, I, I hope Sandoval is OK. I hope to God that you know, he's OK. And um, he'll be all right.